I'm going to go ahead and set up a second flow now for my temperature and humidity sensor. And I can rename the flow from the menu to temperature and humidity sensor to make it a little bit easier to distinguish my flows. So I've already installed a contrib module for the DHT22 and DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor modules. So I'll go and find that DHT uh, node and I'll drop it into my flow. So this takes care of converting the raw readings into degrees Celsius and into a percentage of relative humidity. But it's designed to work uh, inside a flow. So it needs to be triggered in order to get the sensor reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a timestamp node. So I'll drop in a timestamp that will trigger that sensor to be read at a specific interval. So set it up as an interval. And that could be any number of minutes or seconds. I'm just going to set it to five minutes as a default. So now if I hook that up to my sensor module, it will read every five minutes. I'll configure this sensor node. So it needs to be a DHT11 and it's connected up to pin 40 on the Raspberry Pi. And I'll give it a name, temperature and humidity sensor. So now if I want to see what values are coming out of that temperature and humidity sensor, I can go and tweak the interval so that it's only every few seconds. And I'll add a debug node to my flow so that every time that sensor reads, it's going to print the entire message to the debug panel. So deploy, and there we go. We can see some sensor readings coming in there. So the temperature value is the payload and the percentage humidity is stored in a separate key in the message. So we'll go put that interval back to five minutes. And now what we want to do is set up two HomeKit nodes, one for the temperature reading and one for the humidity reading. So I'll drop two of those HomeKit nodes into the flow and I'll configure each one. They're going to need a new accessory type. So the first one's a temperature sensor. I can give it a custom code if I want and I'll set it up as a sensor type of accessory and give it a name. So temperature sensor. And then I can configure that using the temperature service and give it a name for this specific sensor. So because this one's installed at my front door, I'm going to call it the door temperature. Then I can do the same thing for the humidity node. So set up an accessory for the humidity, give it a custom code if I want to. Set it up as a sensor type of accessory and give it a name, humidity sensor. And then finally configure it as a humidity service and give it a name. So again, it's installed at my door, so it's going to be the door humidity. So now I have those two home kit nodes in my flow. And what I need to do is hook up the values from the temperature and humidity sensor node. So getting those values out of the payload and putting them into those two home kit nodes. So I'm going to use a couple of custom functions to do that. So the first one is going to take the message from the temperature and humidity sensor node. And it's just going to pull out the temperature reading. So it's going to set the message payload. And I've already checked which keys these uh, HomeKit nodes are expecting. So I know that this one's expecting current temperature. And so I can get that directly from the message payload. But because it's a string, I'm going to need to convert it into a floating point number. So I'll use parse float. So I'll give that a name just so that it makes it a little bit easier to uh, work with. So convert temperature is the name of that function. And then I can hook that up to my HomeKit node. 
And just so I can see what's going on, I'll use the debug node just to see the messages that come out of those HomeKit nodes at the end. So now I'll need a second function for my humidity sensor. Give it a name, convert humidity. And this time the message payload that the HomeKit node is expecting has a key called current relative humidity. So I'll set that message payload. Give it that key. And the value for this is coming from the message humidity. And again, I want to convert this into a number rather than a string. So this time I'll set it as an integer coming from the message humidity field. So now I hook up the sensor message to the conversion function and then the results go straight into my HomeKit node. And I'll push that into the debug node so I can see what's coming back from the HomeKit node. So we go into the Home uh, app on our on a phone or iPad and we can see now the humidity sensor and the temperature sensor are both available when we go to add sensor. So it's as simple as setting that up. Now for the humidity sensor, put in the code and there we go, humidity sensor is added. And now if we trigger our door sensor, we see that that's still there. Uh, and go into our flow. Instead of waiting for five minutes, I'll just trigger it manually. And there it is, 61%. We do exactly the same thing with temperature sensor, add accessory, temperature sensor, add anyway and into the code and there we go, temperature sensor added and it's 23 degrees